Hello again. It's going to be a short video on a clamp meter that I bought recently. This is made by Unity. It's a model UT210E. I had originally bought this meter to actually run on the transient generator and I ended up playing around with it and it's actually a very nice clamp meter. This meter is about $40 right now US. It's an AC-DC current clamp and it's RMS. You can see it's uh, 2,000 counts. What really makes it nice is that it has this 2 amp range and it's capable of reading down to 1 milliamp. See the meter comes with these probes. I would never recommend using these probes at all with this meter. Again, if you're going to buy this, you're probably buying it for the current clamp alone. You can see I found these cap plugs here. These actually fit over these very nicely and these are easy enough to remove if you ever actually did need to use this. After I would got the meter, one of the things I thought about was adding an oscilloscope output. Somebody else had asked about that, so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and give it a try. I provided quite a bit of detail up on EEB blog about the modifications. If you're interested in making these mods yourself, I would suggest you go there. I'll provide a link. You can see on the back, I have a small SMA connector. Uh, the bandwidth on this probe is not very good. When I measured it with the network analyzer, it works out to about 5 kilohertz. is it. This is just a small driver. Currently I'm using a DC 24 volt supply to drive this thing. And it's currently being driven by a function generator to turn it on and off. On this chunk of aluminum I have two 12 ohm resistors. These are in series. This is looking at 50 millivolts per division. And you can see we're two divisions or roughly one amp peak. I have a small cable that I've made up for this. This is just a standard BNC on the one side and SMB on the other. You just remove the cap and we plug this in. And we can connect this up to our oscilloscope. And we'll just clamp onto one of the leads. You can see it's 180 degrees out of phase right now. If I move this, if I flip the polarity going through the clamp you can see now it's in phase the frequency of this right now is roughly 100 Hertz the meter is actually set to AC RMS again we are supplying a square wave into this if we look at the rise time of this you can see the problem this is looking at 20 microseconds per division and the yellow trace again being off of the meter and we can see the roll off of this so it's pretty bad actually and unfortunately there's nothing really that you're going to be able to do to improve this if I want to double the current for example I'll just clip on to a single resistor and this is now roughly uh, 2 amps if I change the range of the meter, you're going to see that this is going to attenuate the signal. And that's going to actually be a 10x decrease in the gain of this. Currently it's set to 50 millivolts per division. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to 5. And again, if I go to the 100 amp scale, which of course I can only go down to uh, 2 millivolts per division with this. You know, personally I don't think that the mod is really worth it. There's a few problems with making this mod. The first thing when you're modifying a meter like this, there's always going to be a concern over safety. The next problem will be how robust the meter is. I didn't add any information in the doc file I wrote on how to protect the meter. I would say that would probably be up to you and what you're going to use the meter for. Leaving these probes accessible you know, of course you could have leads plugged in here and I could see somebody touching this and then physically touching something else and uh, actually getting a fair amount of current passed through their body. So, you know, having this metallic like this is a problem and actually having it stuck between the two connectors, this is probably not the best way to go about doing this. And I think that's the issue you're going to have. You know, if you look at this from a safety or a robustness standpoint, 
this is going to be a concern. I think just from looking at the safety and the robustness aspects of this mod, it's probably not worth it. Next problem is going to be the accuracy. From what I've seen, it's just not going to be very accurate. What you would need to do really is trim the offset and the gain, and that's going to be dependent on the range that you're in. That may get it down to an acceptable level of error. Again, I think it's probably up to what you're going to use the probe for. If you're looking for a precision current clamp, this is probably not what you want to do. Another thing is the cost. The op amp that I'm using in here, along with these connectors, the cable, you know, you're almost at the price of the meter. And of course the last issue is the bandwidth of this. Again, I'm seeing about a 5 kilohertz 3 dB roll off with it. If I compare this with like this LEM transformer, this one's good for about 50 amps. You can see I've got an oscilloscope output on it. Bandwidth on this is pretty good. Much, much higher than uh, what this thing is. So where do I actually see you using this? Well, maybe if you wanted to look at, say, the current that your light bulb is drawing and the light bulb was an LED or a compact fluorescent and you were trying to get an idea of what that current profile looked like, this may be a way to do that. It certainly has the bandwidth to look at basically 60 hertz type signals and it's probably accurate enough to make those kinds of measurements but beyond that yeah I don't really see this as being a useful mod again I'll provide a link to the information that I collected about the meter so if you do decide to undertake this mod at least you have kind of a place to start this is a GE bulb it's a helical 26 watts 120 volts 60 Hertz 390 milliamps this is just our current voltage monitor. Turn on the light bulb. And our pink trace is the current and the yellow is the voltage. You can see a single cycle. And the modified current clamp is on channel 3 which is the blue trace. And we can see it does a fair job, at least for looking at light bulbs. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Till the next meter.